Hello everybody, this is Wyatt from the Gemini team, and today we're bringing you a video explaining the basics of Gemini. If you support us on Patreon, you will be able to get the newest build. And if you're one of the lucky YouTubers that we've selected to get the free build, then you will be needing this tutorial, unless you want to figure everything out yourself. So, let's get started. When you first download Gemini Engine, it'll be in your downloads, and you can go ahead and export it, it'll open up in this, you go inside, and as you can see right here, there's the Gemini exe you do not need to worry about any of this other stuff this is just to get the thing running so we can go ahead and open it so in here you get these but that's okay you can just click clear and close messages you don't really need that you don't need to worry about it i like to open up the hierarchy inspector and the content browser so to get started what you're going to do is come up to project you're going to go ahead and create we're going to go ahead and pick our path so i'm just going to go I have game dev stuff and then Gemini stuff and then we just click tutorial or whatever folder you want so you can make a folder or whatever. I'm going to click tutorial because that's where I want all of this to be in. Select folder, create, you can go ahead and close out of that. So now if we open up our tutorial, as you can see it now has all of the stuff including if you go in here you can see all of the scripts that it comes with. So. Let's go ahead and get started. Today we're pretty much just explaining all the features we have so far, but in future videos I will be explaining how to get some other things working. So let's do it. Project here, you can do save, create, and open. When you open your project, or Gemini Engine, and you try to open up Content Browser, you'll see that this will be empty. Well, to open, you just click open, and you can go ahead and select the tutorial. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, you can also hit save, so after you do features or add anything, make sure you add save. Gemini Engine does not include an automatic save system yet. In settings, you can see we have code editor, so if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, you can use code. You can do show frame rate, which is important if you're testing games. And then we have these two things, and I'll explain these in other tutorials, but for right now, don't worry about them. Alright, let's get into the next thing. So, Right here you can export game, you can go ahead and name it, build path, and startup scene. Which will be important because as you can see here, you can have multiple scenes in this place. Now there is the pro flyer, but it's not very important, so I'll explain it in another video. Alright, now here we can click create. You can only click create if you are in a project. If you have not opened a project yet, you will not be able to hit this. Alright, so in create. There's a bunch of different things that we can make. The first thing you want to do is, as soon as you make a project is you can go ahead and scroll out using the middle mouse wheel. You can move around using the middle mouse wheel and you can click using the left mouse. So if you click create, you'll try to make an entity. Nothing happens, right? Well, that's because you have to make a scene first. As you can see in scenes, the folder, you can see scene zero. So if we go here, you can see right here, scene transition, which will be very fun for future projects. All right, now, once you have your scene done, you can go ahead and make an entity. As you can see right here, that is our entity. With our entity selected, we can go ahead and name it. We'll name this ground. Now that we're done naming it, as you can see, there's a layer spot, which I'll get into another video, and the transform. Now you can add components. So let's go ahead and make a, let's go ahead and add a sprite renderer. Now as you can see, you can actually see it. If we create another entity and we don't add a sprite renderer, when we hit play, you'll see that you can only see the one cube. All right. So now with that out of the way, with our sprite renderer on the cube, we're going to go ahead and size it up. Using our tools that we have up here, we can go ahead and select this and put it at this corner. We then can go ahead and go to sizing and drag this across. Once it gets to there, we can go ahead, rise that up, move this down, and that's perfect. Now, as you can see here, you can also change the color. So you can bring that up, down, up, down, up, down. Change it however you'd like. You can also do textures. So let's do that really quick. Okay, so what you do, you go ahead and take that screenshot that you took. If you have art, you can go ahead and take that art from the folder and drag it into it. As you can see, 
you can just drag it straight from the folder to the sprite content browser. Okay, now with this here, we can go ahead and just drag and drop right in there. Now that looks horrible, but this is just to show you. As you can see now, if we hit play, <laughs> it looks horrible, but um, you can see there's a lot you can do with Gemini Engine. We'll be getting into a lot more stuff in the next video. This game engine is still in development, so if you'd like to support us, make sure you guys check out our Patreon, Discord, and website. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.